Good afternoon, detectives. So this is Monday the 1st of February PM lesson. If you're sitting there thinking, well, I haven't watched the AM lesson, please pause the video now, go back to AM and unpick what you need to do this morning. So by this point, you should have done a mind map on how to be a good detective and unpick the question. Those were your two jobs this morning. Well done if you've already done them. If you haven't, please pause the video, go back and finish them. So, you've unpicked how to be a good detective. You may have come up with things like this. So how to be a good detective, improve your problem solving skills, attention to detail, you'll need to have computer and technology skills, improve your written and oral communications, so that is your written and speaking communication skills, you might need to get some professional training, so we're training ourselves now, and have patience as a detective. You'll need to know the current laws and how to protect yourselves. Well done if you came up with anything like that. And if you've come up with more, then I cannot wait to hear it. So, underneath where you've done your mind map, I would like you to write a prediction. So, something looking like this, my prediction underlined. Pause the video now so that you can get this ready. We are going to uncover evidence piece number one. So, let's have a look at evidence piece number one. This is from the morning of the incident. Here we go, a picture taken on the morning. What can you see? What do you think will be happening? Pause the video now and write your prediction. We've got this quite happy scene, what's gonna happen throughout the day that's going to end in a crime being committed. <coughs> So again, write my prediction and have a go at writing your prediction. Do you predict that something is going to be stolen? Or someone is going to be stolen? What do you think? I can't wait to hear your predictions. Now let's find out what happened. The Garden of Abdul Ghazazi. Six times Miss Hester's dog Fritz had bitten dear cousin Ennis. So when Miss Hester received an invitation to visit Ennis, she was not surprised to read, P.S. Please leave your dog at home. So we've got the lady here who's had an invitation from her niece saying that she wants her to come around for her birthday, but she doesn't want her to bring the dog. On the day of her visit, Miss Hester asked young Alan Mitz to stay with Fritz and give him an afternoon walk. As soon as Miss Hester left, Fritz ran into the parlor. He loved to chew on the chairs and shake the stuffing out of the pillows. But Alan was ready. All morning long, he kept Fritz from sinking his sharp little teeth into the furniture. So we've got Alan being very responsible, making sure that Fritz down here is not being naughty around the house but what's happened here he's fallen asleep when do we think the crime's going to be committed finally the dog gave up and fell asleep exhausted alan took a nap too but first he hid his hat under his shirt hats being one of fritz's favorite things to chew an hour later alan quickly awoke when fritz gave him a bite on the nose the bad mannered dog was ready for his afternoon walk Alan fastened Fritz's leash, and the dog dragged him out of the house. Walking along, they discovered a small white bridge at the side of the road. Alan decided to let Fritz lead the way across. Some distance beyond the bridge, Alan stopped to read a sign. It what do you think the sign's going to say? Can we see Fritz? What do we think we're investigating? said absolutely positively no dogs allowed in this garden 
No dogs allowed in the garden. Where has Fritz gone? At the bottom, it was signed Abdul Ghassazi. Who is Abdul Ghassazi? Does he have something to play in this? Retired magician. Behind the sign stood... <gasps> magician. The vine-covered wall with an open doorway. Alan took the warning quite seriously. He turned to leave, but as he did, Fritz gave a tremendous tug and snapped right out of his collar. He... Oh dear, Fritz has now come out of his collar. He bolted straight ahead through the open door, with Alan running right behind. Fritz, stop, you bad dog! cried Alan, but the dog simply ignored him. Down shadowed paths and across sunlit lawns they raced, deeper and deeper into the garden. Finally, Alan drew close enough to grab hold of Fritz, but as he reached out, he slipped and fell. Fritz barked with laughter as he galloped out of sight. Alan slowly picked himself up. He knew he had to find Fritz before Mr. Gassazi discovered him. Bruised and tired, he hurried off in the dog's direction. After a long search, Alan was ready to give up. He was afraid he might never find Fritz. But then, he came upon fresh dog prints. Slowly, he followed Fritz's tracks along a path that led into a forest. The dirt path ended and a brick wall began. There were no more tracks to follow, but Alan was certain that Fritz must be just ahead. Alan started running. In front of him, he could see a clearing in the forest. As he came dashing out of the woods, he stopped as quickly as if he had run up against a wall. For there, in front of him, stood a truly awesome sight. It was the house of Gassazi. Alan nervously climbed the great stairs, convinced Fritz had come this way and had been captured. The boy's heart was pounding when he arrived at the huge door. He took a deep breath and reached for the bell. Where do we think the dog's gone? What crime has been committed? What crime do you think has been committed? But before he touched the door, it swung open. There, in the shadow of the great hallway, stood Gassazi the Great. He can't find his dog. Where is his dog? Greetings! Do come in! Was all that he said. Alan followed Gassazi into a large room. When the magician turned around, Alan quickly apologized for letting Fritz into the garden. He politely asked that if Mr. M Gassazi had Fritz, would he please give him back? The magician listened carefully and then smiling said, Certainly you may have your little dog, Fritzy. Follow me. With those words, he went to the door and let Alan back outside. They were walking across the lawn when suddenly Gassazi stopped by a gathering of ducks. He began to speak in a voice that was more like a growl. I detest dogs. They did. What do we think Abdul Ghazazi has done? What's he going to say? What's the crime that's been committed? Listen to what he says next. Take up my flowers. They chew on my trees. Do you know what I do to dogs I find in my garden? What? Whispered Alan, almost afraid to hear the answer. I turn them into ducks. <gasps> so what crime has been committed? Underneath your prediction, can you write the question, what do we need to do? And then in a box, you can lay this out however you want to. What is the crime? What has possibly happened? What has Abdul Ghazazi just said that he's done to Fritz? That's the first bit, writing about what is the crime. You could do this in a bubble. You could do this in a rectangle. You can choose how you would like to lay this side out. Now let's think about our outcome. So at this point in the video, you should have finished the crime and talking about what is the crime. Now, what is our outcome? So if you need a bit of help with the crime side, here's my sentence. Abdul Ghazazi has stolen Fritz and turned him into a duck. 
So what's our outcome? When a crime has been committed, what do police write up when they investigate things? Pause the video now and have a think. What do they write in order to gather all their information and write a record of what's happened? So here's some help if you need it. When an investigation is happening, police need to write a police report. So our outcome is to write a police report that gathers all of the information on the possible crime. I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson. It's going to be a really fun investigation and we're going to have a look at starting our police report tomorrow. So make sure you've gone back through AM and PM lessons and then uploaded a photo of the work that you've done today. Don't forget you can revisit the videos, pause it and there's some help on the videos as we go along. So remember for AM lesson, unpick the question and do a mind map on how to be a good detective. This afternoon you needed to have completed your prediction using evidence one. So we put my prediction. Then we had a look at the video which you can go back in this video and revisit. Then you need to write the following question. What do we need to do? What is the crime? You can magpie these sentences if you need help and you can lay these out however you would like to. Neatly please. Enjoy the lesson.